you want to tell me what equipment you were discussing with her? When we started this, uh, I quit CarMax because I was encouraged by Ms. Winland and her partner to start my own lawn care business. Knowing I didn't have the money to get it started, her former partner offered to use whatever equipment she had. She said I could use whatever I needed to, knowing it was going to take me six months to a year to replace it with my own equipment. To get the funds up, build up the clientele, I was just starting. Two weeks after we get started, she starts pulling into Home Depot and Lowe's and buying a mower and a blower and an edger and everything else. I'm like, we can't afford this yet. I want to see you succeed. Where I'm is stressing. the equipment now? Yeah, I have it. And how much was spent on the equipment? I have a couple of receipts. This is the only ones that I have from Lowe's and Home Depot for three pieces. I do not have the other ones. These are the only ones that I do have. May I see them, please? Well, this is just about maybe 600 bucks. How much did you spend on equipment? I uh, spent over $1,100 on equipment because she have... took the receipts w without my knowledge, where I asked her, did you take the receipts? And she said, no. yes, I took the receipts. No. No. She took them without my knowledge. I was at no. work. So I could only estimate based on you what these were. No. Now, one of the receipts that she may not have is I have a Loppers, which I, right here shows I bought it from a home and garden show on Square. I'd like to see it. <laughs> And that's not true, Your Honor. What was the arrangement with regard to the equipment? That once the business got established, she's going to be paying the bat for the equipment. She went and bought all this with knowing that I couldn't afford it right off the bat. I hadn't built the clientele. That was, not, was, not, that was not the problem. Shh, just a second. You answered the question. I'm the question was, you said she knew you couldn't pay her back right away. Well, now is the time. Now is the time. I've that's why we're here. Did you pay her back? I have records of what I did pay her. There are two conditions that Ms. Winlet did not want to get paid while working with me at the lawn care. One, it was a firehouse policy they could not take on a second job because they wanted them focused and rested. The second is she was on workman's comp disability for a knee injury. That's not true, not true. I was not on workman's comp. I just had my surgery March 7th of this year. March but 7th during that of time, she told me she was on workman's that comp true. on limited duty and it's could not, not show. Would you just tell me how much you paid her back? $2,112.50, and I have records. May I see it? He has not paid me any of the equipment. This is the list, and this is it's in there. These are the dates, and these correspond with in the book. I just wrote them out easier to find. Did you work with her in this business? I did for a time work with her, yes, ma'am. How long? Up until May of uh, 2016. And then what happened? I was preparing to have a knee surgery that was canceled because I had poison oak, and then she moved out. Bird, would you return these items to the defendant, these items to the plaintiff? Okay? Yep. These go to defendant, these go to the plaintiff. I'm not satisfied that these were loans. Case is dismissed. We're done.